Family and friends and loved ones, on behalf of Noah and Candace, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this celebration of marriage. We are gathered here today, surrounded by the beauty of creation and nurtured by the sights and sounds of nature to celebrate the wedding of Candace and Noah. Noah, I've known you, well, all your life, I think. Candace, and it's been such a pleasure to get to know you these past few months. It's obvious the two of you were meant for one another. As we have spent some time together these past few weeks in anticipation of this day, I observed some special characteristics about your relationship. As we talked about the realities of marriage, I love seeing those moments where, Candace, you would put your head on Noah's shoulder. And Noah, how you would look at Candace as she spoke about her desires for your marriage, a look every husband should give their wife. The other telling moment was when I asked you to describe the other. Candace, you described Noah as always making people feel seen and heard. You called him your best friend. Noah, you described Candace as a protector, loving, and that she feels like home. Candace and Noah, marriage is the promise between two people who love each other, who trust that love, and who wish to spend the rest of their lives together. It enables the two separate souls to help each other through all uncertainties of life. Love you, Dad. Love is not what you profess here today. It is what you do in the 10,000 little moments of your life. I want you to take in this moment. This is special. You'll remember this for all your life. You're surrounded by your family, your friends, the beauty of God's creation. Candace, I take you as you are. Noah, I take you as you are. Loving who you are now. And who you are yet to become. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love. And our life. To be generous with my time, energy, and affection. To fill our life with adventure. And our home with laughter. To encourage you to grow as an individual. And inspire you to do so. Noah, do you take Candace to be your wife? I do. Candace, do you take Noah to be your husband? I do. It is now my privilege to pronounce that from this day forward, you are husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> and family, it is with great joy that I now present Noah and Candace Hill. I want to say a few words about uh, Candace, because this is my, ch my last chance to kind of roast her a little bit and celebrate her a little bit. 
Candace, Candace is our baby. She's the little princess of five. I think the, her two sisters would say she's definitely the princess of the group. Candace is a hard worker. She knows what it's like to get stuff done. When she sets her mind to anything, she makes it happen. We're very proud of her. We look forward to uh, a long, happy life with these two. had a son and we finally got the daughter that we've always wanted so thank you i can't say enough how much it's meant to us to see noah find someone that loves him so much and the family that accepted him tough to stand here and feel like we're gonna give him up to someone, but we couldn't have asked for it to be someone better than Candace. Love, can you I think one of the things that I have learned in my marriage, and I didn't learn it nearly as young as you did, the most important lessons that I have learned in my life have come from my marriage to Carrie. Candace, I think you have a perfect role model that you've spent a lot of time with your mom in your life. And I think if ever there's a question or, or a direction in your life, you can just look to your mom. In my time wandering But some hearts beat harder And who can love in so many different ways Where you can love just one your whole life long And they don't feel the same Well tell me, love I'm only asking All my life, my love He's missing you Come, buddy.